Okay, gang, I'm here to talk about why the Dallas Mavericks should highly consider trading Dirk Nowinski. Now, Dirk Nowinski, ever since the 2008 online season, has been steadily declining. His stats in 2008 were 25 point nine points per game, 8 point four rebounds, 2 point four assists. The year after that, 25 points per game, 7.7 rebounds, 7.7 assists. The year after that, which is 2010, 2011, the year they won the title, 23 points, 7 rebounds. The year after that, which is this current season, 21.6 points. Six points have rebound. So, he's been steadily declining. And it seems like Dallas is going to take about two years to get where they were, and he's currently 34. He's losing his passing prime. So I think it would be bad for him to stay in a rebuilding situation because basically his roster right now is Sean Marion. Brendan Hayward, Vince Carter, Rodrigo Bubois, and Gamini Jones. They don't have much. And it seems like no second tier free agents want to go to Gaius for some reason. So, I got some possible landing spots and some possible packages for him. I think the first landing spot to me, which is obvious, would be the Lakers. Even though Mark Cuban won't want to, I think the same thing that happened with Steve Nash would happen with Dirk. So, so, I would, if the Mavericks were to claim him for the Lakers, I would the Lakers. I would trade either Andy Bynum or Pound Gasol, one of the big and male world peace. That's probably not gonna happen again. The most regular and in fact is Brooklyn. They could take the great Howard package. Marshawn Brooks, Brooke O'Pagan, Chris Humphrey. That would be a good starting point for Dallas because they could focus on Brooke O'Pagan who averaged about 19 points per game. I know it was only five games. But I think he could get better. And Marshawn Brooks, wake up. I'm really high on because he has 
athleticism and speed and surpass anybody he wants to. So, that's the most like young spot, in my opinion. But, I'm, after I give you all the packages, I'm going to give you the numbers of like Marshawn and the other packages. The next package, the next package I would do is Chicago, because I will really help Derek Rose. I would create a combination of either Joe King Noah and Charles Buddha or Joe King Noah and Wall Gang. The reason why I would do this is if I were guys, I would focus my whole rebuilding ethic on defense. And Go King Moa can defend the one good five perfectly. And you all getting it already out there on the market as it seems. So those are the great packages I have. Now I'm going to give you the stack for my handbook, book little pack. And go, go, King Mo. Last year, my son Brooks in 29 minutes averaged 12.6 points, 2.3 points, and 3.6 3 rebounds. Like I said, he, he has speed, he has fake, he can score the basketball if you give it to him. So, I would be fine with that if I'm guys. Plus, it's good for New Jersey because it, it puts him over the hump and it would. And it would bring a lot less drama than the Great Highway saga if it would bring great. So now, for a little bit last year, again in five games, he had bring. 19.2 points point a game, 3.6 rebounds. Again, it was only five games and he had 27 minutes a game below five. Now, the anger bang him, anger bang him average 19 and 12. So that would be a good starting point. Also, because it would give him a low post playing and a defensive playing. And, and Go King, for Chicago, say Go King or average barely a double double and cut. And Carlos Boozer He averaged fifteen points a game and eight point five rebounds. So it would give you a good front court per se. And with Rodrigo Bobois as a point guard already, it would give you nice 
a nice core to build around. I know Kylo's Booger is scary, but it will give you a nice core. So that's my opinion, guys. Leave your comments below. I'll talk to you later.